See, that's what actually one of the things that really hooked me in. Quite about, the thing that first hooked me into Nirvana was uh, on a plane. We do an acoustic version of that now. And I wish to God we would have recorded it acoustically because it sounds so much better that way. <laughs> What's it about? Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> you knew I was going to come up with that one. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can you remember what, what it was? I mean, this is a fan's question, right? I wouldn't let myself off the hook. Classic alienation, I guess. I really, you know, I, I cannot. Every time I, I go through songs with in, with interviewers, yeah. it's um, a lot of times I'll even have to change my story because I'm just as much I'm just as lost as anyone else, you know. Right. Because for the most part, of the way I write, it's just from pieces of poetry you know, yeah. just thrown together. I mean, you probably have read that somewhere. I've probably I have, repeated uh, it a million times. Um, that that's pretty much how I do it. I just so I write poetry. Yeah, and so, and when I write poetry, it, it usually it's never thematic at all, yeah. and so... Do you keep a notebook? Yeah, I have yeah. plenty of notebooks, and I just, when it, when it comes time to writing yeah. lyrics, I just steal from my poems. Then you put them together very quickly in, in, in a rehearsal or in the studio? Um, usually, usually right before I record the right. vocals. <laughs> And a lot of times, um, within the month before we go into the studio, I finish the lyrics. Sometimes, you know, lyrics will come out of me within, you know, five minutes, but for the most part, I'd say 90% of it is, is done at the last minute. I mean, but there are definitely, there, there, there are instances in certain parts of the songs. I yeah. mean, you literally have to go through every song with me in almost every line for me to be able to, and I just can't think of some, some just off the top of my head, you know. It'd probably be easier for me with this last record, because it seems, there's few songs that seem to be more thematic than, or actually about something, rather than just putting pieces of poetry together. Yeah. Like, um, Scentless Apprentice is, is about the book Perfume, um, by Patrick Susskind, yeah. And uh, I've hardly ever, I don't think I've ever writ written a, a song based on a book before. Mm -hmm. I really liked that. That's the one I was saying. Eight. Very eight. Very yeah. Good guitar sound. Oh, that was a, uh, Steve Albini's metal guitar that he got. It's, really it's, it's, it's supposedly a really rare guitar. It's made out of, oh, it's all aluminum. Wow. Yeah. Did you read much when you were younger, when you were growing up? Yeah, just whatever I could yeah. get. I, I went to the library a lot, and I skipped school a lot too, especially during high school and junior high, and the only place to, to go during the day was at the library. Yeah. But I didn't know what to read, had no so idea. Just, pick, just whatever I found, yeah. And like during grade school I would read. Um, S. E. Hinton books were pretty. Oh, the Outsider. Yeah, They're, I really enjoyed those books. I was in grade school. <laughs> For the most part, I read a lot during class too. When I went to school, just to stay away from people, so I didn't have to talk to them too. It's a good excuse. A lot of times, I'd even just pretend to read just to stay away from people. When did you start writing? Probably about fourteen, mm -hmm. somewhere around then, junior high. I've never, I've never taken it very seriously. I've also never really kept personal journals either. I've never kept a diary, and I've never tried to write in. Um, I've never tried to write stories. It's always been poetry. It's always yes. been abstract. Yeah. You know? My my the plan for my life was to be, ever since I can remember, to be a commercial artist, mm. and. Ever since I can remember, my my mother gave me a lot of support in being artistic. She would, she was real complimentary on my drawings and paintings, and so throughout my entire life, I've always been building up to that. Like I, by the time I was in 
ninth grade, I was taking three commercial art classes, and I was going to go to art school, and my art teacher would, would enter my, my paintings and stuff to, in contests and stuff. But I wasn't interested in that at all, really. It really wasn't what I wanted to do, because I knew, I knew that I wasn't um, as good as everyone else thought I was in that town, because the ratios are aren't that great because you know I, so I'm be, I'm a better artist than you know probably everyone in that school but that doesn't say that doesn't say anything if you compare it to a larger city you know and I knew how you know I knew my limitations so uh, you know I really enjoy art I like to paint still but um, and the same thing I've always felt the same way with writing as well because I know that I'm not educated enough to really write something that I would personally enjoy on the level that I would mm -hmm. on the level that I like to read I've always I've always felt you know like I've stayed away from Joy Division because I, I've heard a few of their songs and I know I would really like it and just the mystique about it and the stories that I've heard about that mm -hmm. band I know that's the band to listen to of all of them, you know. I'm just waiting. But no, I wouldn't think, that, I can't think of anything that I ever listened to besides Black Sabbath, that whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really claustrophobic, too. The worst, the most terrifying <laughs> thought I can think of is, yeah, is, is, being, is being locked inside of something, in a closet or something. <laughs>